Welcome to this tutorial. Today, we're going to talk about adverbs of time. Let's get started. Remember that an adverb is a word or set of words that modifies verbs, adjectives, or other adverbs. Note that adverbs usually modify verbs, telling us how, how often, when, or where something was done. Have a look at the example over here. We walked really slowly. Note that the adverb slowly modifies the verb walked and it tells us how we walked. Now adverbs of time tell us when an action happened, for how long, or how often. Note that adverbs of time are invariable. Have a look at the example below. Sorry, I'll call you in a minute. The adverbial phrase in a minute tells us when I'll call. Note that adverbs of time are usually placed at the end of the sentence, as in the example below. I'll do it tomorrow. Note that the adverb of time tomorrow is placed at the end of the sentence. But sometimes these adverbs can be put at the beginning of the sentence, and that's to give a different emphasis. Have a look at the example below. Later, they noticed his absence. Note that the adverb of time later is placed at the beginning of the sentence to give emphasis. And in the adverbial phrases that tell us for how long something has been happening, for is always followed by an expression of duration. While since is always followed by an expression of a point in time. Have a look at the examples below. They'll be away for 20 days. Note that for is followed by an expression of duration, 20 days. And in this sentence, I haven't seen you since June. Since is followed by an expression of a point in time, which is June. Note that adverbs that tell us how often something happens express the frequency of an action. They are usually placed before the main verb, but after auxiliary verbs. Have a look at the examples below. Sarah usually wakes up at 7 a.m. Now the adverb of time usually is placed before the main verb, which in this case is wakes. But in this sentence, you must always be kind to others. Note that the adverb of time always comes before the auxiliary verb, be. But note that the main verb of the sentence comes after the auxiliary verb. But there is an exception, and that is when the main verb is to be, in which case, the adverb goes after the main verb. Have a look at the example below. I am never late. Note that the adverb of time never comes after the auxiliary verb to be, am. And if you need to use more than one adverb of time in a sentence, use them in the following order. One. How long? Two, how often? Three, when? Have a look at the example below. Peter worked at the mall for four days, every week last year. Note that four days tells us how long. Every week tells us how often. And last year tells us when.